NVIDIA has done a lot of scummy stuff over the years. They've had misleading marketing, they have fake MSRP pricing, they do shady stuff. It's just the nature of that company. And they're in the spotlight right now because they have particularly egregious marketing around the new 50 series launch. So their desktop claim turned out not to be really true. And on the laptop side, they're making a similar claim. So for NVIDIA as a company, they're easy to dislike because they just have a track record of uh, I don't know, anti-consumer behavior or just weird marketing practices. So I bring all of this stuff up because yesterday I posted a preview video of the 50 series gaming laptop. So it wasn't a review, it was just like me talking about some gameplay on it. And a few things happened. First, some people assumed that it was a sponsored video. It absolutely was not. Second, some people were bothered by the fact that I didn't go into more detail about performance. There was no performance conversation in that video. Like I tried to show numbers in video was like, you cannot, I was legally under an embargo to not show any performance numbers, but today I can. Again, this is not a review. I'm gonna do something much more comprehensive later, but rasterized performance on the 5090 blade is a little better than the 4090 blade. Other 4090 laptops that were thicker with higher wattage and more powerful cooling can get pretty close. Uh, but the third thing, the big thing, was that some people were upset that I talked about DLSS in a positive light. Because the truth is, this is the tool that NVIDIA has used and is currently using to mislead consumers sometimes about performance gains. And we gotta talk about this. So for years, I hated DLSS. On the 20 series desktop launch, I said the tech was not very good and I said it just wasn't worth buying into. And then on the 20 series laptop launch, I said the same kind of thing. In fact, I purposefully left out ray tracing and DLSS benchmarks in that video and NVIDIA's PR reached out to me and they're like, why didn't you talk about this stuff? And I said, it doesn't matter. People only care about rasterized graphics right now because this was 20, 20 or something like that. No one cared about that technology back then. So I just didn't like it. Now in 2023, when DLSS 3.5 came out, that's when it started to get really good. It gets better image quality, more game support, that the whole product was just significantly better. It wasn't perfect, but it was really good. And now, 2025, we have DLSS 4. It is so freaking good that like you, you can't erase years of bad, right? And it's really difficult to convey that something that was bad for years is suddenly good, but it is. I think you get awesome image quality now and the frame generation and the latency around it is way better than I thought it would be. I would say that the biggest issue with it is just really, I would want more games to have support for this technology. Now, I think a lot of the distaste around DLSS comes from the desktop world and then it gets carried over into the laptop world, which I don't think is fair. It's, they're just completely different products. Like if you look at the desktop GPUs over the years, they've had increasing power requirements almost every generation. Like the desktop GTX 1080 pulled 180 watts at peak. That thing was a legend. And then the new RTX 5090 pulls 575 watts at peak. There's been a massive increase in power requirements over the years. But for the desktop space, it's okay. It's like, it sucks that you have to buy a new power supply, but you can do that. You just have to begrudgingly buy the new bigger power supply. And then now you can upgrade to the new bigger GPU. GPU. On laptops though, during that same span of time, they have not increased in wattage by very much. If anything, the trend has been the opposite to try to get away with lower wattage GPUs because people want thinner and lighter laptops with longer battery life. So in the laptop space, if you're capped at 150 watts, or let's say like 175 watts if you're boosting, you are very limited as to how much kind of like generational gain you can get year on year in terms of performance. You are entirely dependent on either Nvidia to come out with some new architectural change that somehow boosts performance, or you need TSMC, the company that fabricates these chips for Nvidia to achieve some kind of node shrink that would give you better efficiency and you could get a performance uplift in that way. But that's it, those are the only two options. There is no third option where you just give the laptop more wattage because these are laptops. Like, can you imagine a laptop that had a 250 watt TDP on the GPU? It would be super thick, it'd be heavy, the fans would be crazy loud, the heatsink would be very heavy, it would suck. But the crazy thing is, a few years back, we almost went down that road. Like there was a time when several laptop companies had double AC adapter products. Like there was an Alienware Area 51M, had two AC adapters. That's the world that would be required if you want that type of power in here without the DLSS technology. That's why I get so excited when something like DLSS is finally good. And it's not Nvidia's product. I don't care who makes it. If it's AMD's FSR, Intel's XCSS, if you have good upscaling tech, like it is now in DLSS 4, it is so freaking useful on laptops. 
I don't think there's any other way that you could achieve these kinds of frame rates at this resolution on a system with a 175 watt GPU. Like if you don't use this technology and you only want rasterized performance, look at the generational gains over the course of six and a half years going from the 20 series to the 50 series. Some generations can get bigger bumps if the fabrication node was new, but those gains pale in comparison to what good upscaling tech and frame generation can do for games that take proper advantage of it. So with laptops that have wattage limits, I think there's no alternative, like unless you go with the four inch thick laptop with four AC adapters, but I don't wanna be in the business of using or reviewing devices like that. Um, okay, the thing to keep in mind though, is that my appreciation and love for this technology, this upscaling and frame generation, again, I don't care which brand does it, whoever does it well, I love it. But I don't like when companies use this tool to market incorrectly. And the way that Nvidia has done it, at least with their desktop GPUs, it just paints a target on their back. But it doesn't take away from the technology itself. I think the DLSS tech and all the stuff that's improved with the new version of it is fantastic. <laughs>